Hello, my name is Lizette, and this is my topic, geography, and this is my lecture, the Americas. So what is geography? It is a study of places and the relationship between people and their community. There are two types of geography. Physical geography, which is a study of Earth's seasons, climate, atmospheres, and landforms and oceans. And there's also human geography, the study of distribution of networks of people and cultures on Earth's surface. For the first part of this lecture, we'll be focusing on human geography. Immigration versus immigration. They pretty much sound the same, but they are two different things. Immigration, with an E, is leaving one country to move to another, while immigration, with an I, is moving an and or entering into a new country and making a home there. Quick, brainstorm. What do you think forces humans to migrate and move to a new country? Well, there's something called pull and push factors. A pull factor is something that draws people to immigrate to a place. So it's something that forces them to go there. Well, push is a force that drives people away from that place. Can you think of some examples? Well, there's human-made environmental, environmental disasters that no longer make that place safe. There's also natural disasters such as volcanoes, earthquakes, fires that destroy your home so you have to leave. There's also resources that are offered in different countries that you need to live. And there's also job opportunities which tends to be one of the main driving forces. Population pyramids. It is something that shows the distribution of age across a population divided between the center between male and female members of the population. You could divide this between many different countries, but we'll be looking at in class. Birth rates versus, versus death rates. Birth rate is the number of lives per 1,000 people in a population. Death rates is calculated by dividing the number of deaths in a population per year. Markets and GDP. Mexico is a free market economy that is mixed with modern industry and agriculture. Due to NAFTA, the U.S. and Canada are Mexico's trading partners. What is GDP? It is a gross domestic product, which means that Canada is highly developed due to international trade. Can you think of any more highly developed countries? North America and biomasses. So this is the physical part of geography, and a biome is a community of animals and plants spreading over an extensive area with a relatively uniform climate. In North America, it is extremely, extremely diverse with deserts, grassland, tundra, tundra, and coral reefs. Next, in class, prepare to come with a laptop in order to create and do research on population pyramids. Thank you.